Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the AV8B Harrier and it's January 2021. We now have the APK WS laser guided rockets. So first of all, there's our mark pylons two, three, five, and six air to ground missiles. We can have Lao 131 pod with seven times 2.75 inch laser guided rockets with a high explosive warhead or a multi-purpose penetrator. And we're gonna go for the penetrator here. As it stands at this time, we can have a maximum of 28 rockets on board. We also want our T-Pod because we need delays. Request rearming. We'll want to set up the laser code for these rockets. Right shift and kilo. We can see the APKWS laser code there, currently 1688. That's no good because I need to deconflict from RC who is on that code. So I'm going to press left shift, left alt and one, two or three to change the digits. Left shift, left alt and one to change this digit here. And I would like a five. I'll be on 5088. It'll be on 1688. Note, you can only do this when the aircraft is shut down with the canopy open and the rockets equipped. And I believe it's simulating an actual ground crew uh, adjusting the rockets manually. So we've done that, now let's get airborne. Note also at this time the new sound effects of the engine. First of all, a quick refresher of the buttons that we're going to be pushing. So to aim the teapot about, TDC, forward, aft, left and right. To enable slewing of the teapot, a double press of sensor select down twice. Sensor select aft to bring up the LST to allow us to change the laser PRF on the T-Pod and to fire the rocket bomb pickle. So, master arm on, air to ground mode, main menu, store screen. Note also an update to the text, I've changed the type of text and the way the screens look which is all very good. Select the weapon which is 20A. Note we get OBD options here so I would like to change the quantity in this case. And I'm going to change it to two. I'm going to send on each shot a pair of rockets out, which I can do uh, like that. And I've got other options that I can change there. Note, we do have ranging symbology on the HUD here for the CCIP, but it's not relevant if we're going to use these rockets as guided, which we will be using. We're we'll using them guided. Note, you can use them as unguided rockets in the traditional way if you want. Over to our right screen. We need to set the laser code PRF in the teapot we're going to press sensor select aft to bring up our lst to allow us to change our laser code make sure code is boxed and it is clear one five eight eight enter next over to the teapot main menu teapot on standby to operational arm it set the laser to laser we're now going to double push sensor select down one two we can now use the slew keys as we saw earlier to find the bad guys and we can zoom in here we can get a point track but we don't need to have a point track note we can confirm our laser code entry here of one five eight eight we're going to fire the laser and we can just leave it on for all the time that we're firing the rocket and then turn it off afterwards a quick look in the hard symbology flashing l the laser is designating ready to fire mode gcip 28 rockets ready to fire and our currently selected target is 3.8 miles all we're going to do now is press bomb pickle two rockets away these rockets are pretty powerful and will kill more or less anything they hit due to their accuracy but if going over going after a large tank a main battle tank it's often a good idea to send two out like this both hit just for the fun, to quickly prove it to ourselves that it wasn't a fluke. Quickly over to another target, fire. See how quickly you can do that. It's really cool. There we go. That's the APKWS for the Harrier Jan 2021. Really easy to use, really effective, really good fun. I hope that was useful and see you later.